Laura here and welcome back to my channel or welcome if it is your first time. If it is your first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But moving on to part three now of our little Amazon folio type thing. Um, so obviously you remember this started as a Amazon folio and we put the panels down in the first video and added our pockets on the second video. So now I'm going to kind of concentrate on this area here and maybe even add a little spine area there. So I was thinking of doing a sort of slip pocket area here, maybe three or four pockets on this area right here. And I'm just going to use this card that's kind of left over from the gusseted pocket that we did on the instead I will link the other two videos below and um, I would definitely recommend watching those before you watch this one if you haven't already so I'm thinking that I'm going to take a little piece of um, craft card and I'm going to use this to kind of reinforce our little slits and do maybe four slits I don't want this to cover this entire card, so it's, the width I would say is pretty good and I will trim it Grab a pen about there I can't remember what I did with my there is. <laughs> my cutting board. I'm just gonna go ahead and trim this down. So we've got roughly about that. And I'm thinking I'm me around the corners. I got this cool wee corner rounder thing from AliExpress and I love it. It's got the three different um, sizes. So it's got 7mm, 4mm and 10mm and they're all together. It's not got a base which is the only annoying thing. But I love it, it's brilliant and it's not that noisy compared to my other. I've got another two. And they were kind of doing my nothing. Really need sharpened. Um, so I just ordered a new one because they were both kind of doing my nothing basically. And I think it was only a few pounds off of AliExpress. So if you're looking for a good corner rounder, definitely have a look on AliExpress. So that will sit like so. You really won't see the corners anyway because of this lace but I know the rounded <laughs> um, so I'm gonna kinda kinda sort of sort of um, trim this down right there Um, I'm just kind of making this up as I go by the way so hopefully you're not I don't do it too wrong uh, so I'm thinking I'll probably need it to be about that wide-ish which is I'm like trying to figure out how that's so big because I'm measuring it the wrong way. <laughs> um, so it's about two and a half centimetres. I'm going to cut a few of those. Just 
two and a half. So what is everyone else kind of working on at the moment? small yeah so what are you guys working on at the moment i'd love to know who's doing one of these along with me because that would be awesome that would be really cool um i'm just going to round these um by seven millimeters so i'm just going to do the three of them i just kind of place them down to see roughly how they'd sit and I quite I quite like them there so I'm gonna ink around these just gonna pop this out of the road just now I'm just gonna ink around these with the black suit by Ranger um, and then I'm gonna measure out my little lines Apologise for my last video not being that in focus, um, or in frame rather. I did need to sit down <laughs> during that last video, so I think that that may have been the main issue because I was sitting down, I was further back and not as kind of centred. So I apologise that I wasn't always in for you, I'm still kind of getting used to the whole craft with me. Um, I think that's only like my third or fourth one, so sorry about that. But hopefully I'll get better at it. There we go. Grab my ruler. <clears throat> I'm just going to kind of line this up here and attempt to pick up my ruler. So it was two and a half centimeters. So about half there. And I'm just kind of guessing, mean that's probably nowhere near half, but I'm just going to kind of line it up with one of the lines on my little board. And I'm going to kind of measure this out. So I think... 11 centimeters so it looks like this and then I'm going to grab my crop it out and I'm going to put a wee circle on either end of that line as even as I can get it And then I'm going to grab my little, um, my metal ruler, which is somewhere. It's somewhere. So I find my ruler, and then I realised what I was about to do. <laughs> um, so I need to actually glue these down before I start cutting into them. So I'm going to just kind of place them down by eye. I've drawn the lines on the other two. And again, I'm using the 3-in-1 Craft Glue by Beacon. And I'm just going to glue these down. Putting a decent amount. Um, you could use um, double-sided sticky tape for this part. I, could, I would imagine, anyway.
I'm not putting it too close to the top, but close enough. I'm just going to double check that my little crocodile. Bit of an unlock it. Um, can reach. There you go. Just making sure that my little crocodile can reach these little circles. Um, because that would have been annoying. <laughs> So I'll just pop that to the side to let that dry. This glue does dry really very quite fast, but I don't want to be cutting into it while it's even slightly still sticky. Just making sure that's straight. So I'm just going to pop that to the side and let it dry. And I'm just going to cut down our last piece of cardstock. So I'm going to be doing the little panel, the little flippity flap. Um, so the last one I had a panel, I'll show you actually, grab it. I shall grab it. Um, so in this one, I have a little flip flap here. But in this one that I'm working on at the moment, I don't know if I want to do that or if I want it to have maybe two pages. Here I've got a pocket. This one's too narrow for a pocket. So I'm thinking of adding an extra little sort of, instead of just having one flip on this, having two. But I will see how it goes, basically. So I'm going to just cut it out so it is 16. By twenty five, and this one's slightly shorter, but that's fine because I would want it to. Kind of lay on top. So sixteen. I don't really ten. It would sit like kind of like that. And then, let's see. So, ten. So it's sit kind of there. Anyway. So I've cut those down and this cardstock's not really durable in my opinion. Um, so what I'm going to do is glue another piece together so it's from the same paper pack and I've just cut it down to the same size and I'm just going to glue them together but what I'm going to do first is pick a side hmm I think I'm actually going to go with this side on the outside I'm going to turn it this way and sort of line it up with a little slither of space between the two and then I'm just going to tape it together ah. I can never seem to get this to just stay I'm just going to tape it with um, packing tape. Okay, 
cut that little bit off. It seems to have caught on something, like me, for instance. Get out of me. Goodness, this is a disaster. So I take my bone folder and scrape it all along there. If I just popped in a little bit down there, I didn't think torturing you guys any further with my terrible taping skills was necessary. So instead of folding it over, I'm just going to trim it off because we are going to be seeing like this bit's not getting covered. So if we were to fold it over here, you would see those little bits of tape, whereas I'm going to be sticking this over here so you're not going to see this tape but what I'm going to do first is grab this guy I'm going to get some paper clips I think actually because my little clippies will get in the way hold on a second I just went and grabbed two large paper clips and what I'm going to do is clip this lace out of the way as much as I can anyway. If I was to use the little clips I used the other day there, it'd get in the way. Um, so I can't. <laughs> Simply. I'm going to attach this here with the same tape. Let me grab another couple of clips and just kind of clip that there like so. Grab my tape. So I've just cut it off again. I'm not folding it. And obviously I'm just kind of really making sure that is well and truly really scored and stuck down. Close. And it should fold pretty smoothly. Like so. So I'm just going to stick the other pieces down now and that's going to hide the tape and then this one will hide the rest of the tape on the inside on this bit here so obviously you can use your double-sided sticky for this and you could obviously make these into like that kind of pocket as well if you wanted to and obviously if you've got card that's um, like strong enough you might not need to do this um, I mean this card probably is strong enough but I'm just paranoid and function on the better safe than sorry principle. So 
I'm just sticking this down. So that's those down and that's them foldable, I guess the word could be used. Um, but I still need to ink around these ones. So I'm going to grab my little corner rounder and I'm going to round the corners here. Hopefully anyway, if I can get it in. And then I'm just going to take the black suit and go all the way around all the edges. As you can see, I've inked around these three edges, but I haven't inked this edge here. And that's purely because I'm going to take some washi tape. So I've just got this grey sort of damask style washi tape. And I'm just going to... Take it down the side, so I can find the end of it. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So like on this side as well, just to hide those openings basically. What I'm going to do first is take a pret stick. These print sticks I get out of the pound shop and they're brilliant. You get like five for a pound. Um, so if you live in the UK and you have a pound land, they're awesome. I go through them so much like I stock up because <laughs> I love them. I've tried that Uhu or Uwe or however you say it. <laughs> Um, but I didn't honestly like it that much. I felt like they were too soft. So I ended up using a lot more than I would have liked for like one project. Um, whereas these are a bit harder. And obviously a lot cheaper as well, so there's that. Um, so I don't know what happened there, I don't know when it stopped recording or why it stopped recording even. All I did was put the washi on either side and I'm just going to put that to the side and let that kind of set for a little while. And concentrate on this guy again. So what I'm going to do is grab my crocodile. I'm pure paranoid that it's going to stop recording again. <laughs> and I'm going to um, cut out those circles again. There we go. So I've cut out the circles all the way through the craft card and the um, scrapbook paper or card. And then I'm just going to do the same on these two. I'm going to cut out a circle on either side of the line. Can't quite reach that line there, so... I'm just going to put it there. <laughs> and then I'm going to grab my little knife guy and I'm going to grab my metal ruler and I'm going to cut out either side of this line as best I can. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I actually had to go and get some help to do this. I am a weak ass bitch. <laughs> and 
couldn't do it basically so I cut one I can't remember if it was this one or this one and it took me about 20 minutes so <laughs> um, I got that one cut for me so obviously I didn't film that and I certainly wasn't going to waste your time to me cutting away for 20 minutes so basically you're just going to take your knife and um, cut either side of the line hopefully a bit better than what I have done and then and then and then Make sure it's like the right way up. Might actually ink around that um, centre part first. So I'm just going to kind of bend it like so. So it's not perfect, but it's functional. <laughs> um, you could also like put little pockets on the back of this, like glue them um, if you wanted to have like actually individual pockets but I'm not going to do that um, if you wanted them to kind of, just to make sure they had their own little space you could totally just um, fold over a piece of card and um, you glue the two sides and just fold it so that I'll, just, I'll actually just show you <laughs> what I'm talking about. So I've just grabbed a book page because well I'm just going to kind of show you I'm not actually going to do it. But you would just take a piece of card or a piece of fabric or whatever you want to do and you would fold it so that you had a lip basically. So you don't want them to kind of be even you want one to be bigger than the other and then you would just glue these two together and then you would glue it down so that you had the top bit here the long bit rather and then the short bit there and then anything that was put into this pocket this is upside down but anything that was put into this pocket would fall into here and it wouldn't like transfer it into the other pocket if that makes any sense at all um so you would have three of these basically and that would be three individual pockets because obviously once i glue this down they're going to be three pockets but they're all going to end up anything that goes into this pocket is going to touch whatever's in this pocket and all that jazz but if you didn't want that to happen um, just make that little that little pocket. I want to see the little cloudy bits come through. Um, whereas if I do that, that I won't be able to. So I'm not going to do that. Um, I had a little couple of raggedy bits there, so I'm just going to re-ink over the bits I just kind of tore off. <clears throat> I'm just going to shove that out of the way. Okay, you can even take an envelope and just kind of trim it down to size. I'm going to just grab these paper clips and put them on this side. that out of the way. So you're still going to see a little bit of um, tape but obviously that can be covered up with um, lace, washi tape, anything like that. I might actually put a little bit of lace along here. I don't know yet. I haven't decided but it can easily be covered. So I'm just going to put my glue around here. Um, Obviously, if you're doing it the same way as me, don't put glue under the pockets, otherwise you're not going to get anything in them. Quick 
course, I get glue on my hands every time. <laughs> You could even leave this bit open and just put like a little half circle or something and add like a full length pocket if you wanted. And there we go. So we now have our little fold out and I haven't put enough. What I might do actually is, will this peel off still? Yes, well, I'm going to peel this off and put lace because I haven't done it properly anyhow. So I'm just going to peel that off. And put some lace, maybe. I'll think about it. <laughs> I'm not sure yet, so I'll just leave it for now. But we now have our little three layer pocket, and we also have a couple of extra panels, and they're quite sturdy that we can add pockets to, or paper to, or anything like that. And that's going to make up for the lack of pocket here as well. But I think that's enough for today. Uh, hopefully this video wasn't too long for you guys. And hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll hopefully see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.